Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today what we are going to do is talk about a popular investment vehicle which is known as ETFs. ETF stands for exchange traded funds. Now whether you are a beginner or maybe you are an experienced investor who is uh, looking to broaden your financial knowledge. Now this video will provide you with a complete understanding of ETFs. So what are ETFs? An ETF or an exchange traded fund is a type of investment fund and an exchange traded product which is traded on stock exchanges just like individual stocks. ETFs are designed to track performance of a specific index or a sector. They may track performance of a commodity or any other asset class. So how does an ETF work? Imagine a basket. This basket holds a variety of assets such as stocks, bonds or commodities. When you buy a share of an ETF, you are essentially buying a piece of this basket. This gives you an exposure to all the assets that belong to this basket. This allows you to diversify so that you are not putting all your eggs in one basket. Now there are several benefits to investing in ETFs. Let's look at them. The first benefit of investing in ETFs is that ETFs provide you diversification because you can now invest in a wide range of assets using ETFs so you are able to spread your risk better. The second advantage is liquidity. ETFs can be bought and sold throughout the day at market prices <clears throat> since they are essentially traded on an exchange just like any individual stock. ETFs provide you flexibility. You will find that there are numerous ETFs that are available. These ETFs track, these ETFs track various indices, sectors and asset classes. So this gives investors a lot of option to choose from based on your investment goals and risk tolerance. In general, ETFs provide you benefit of lower costs. So ETFs generally have lower expense ratios compared to mutual funds. So while a mutual fund may charge you 1 or 2% as an expense ratio, you will find that ETFs would not charge you anywhere near this percentage. So this makes ETFs a very cost effective investment. Now there are various types of ETFs available. This includes the index ETF which is ETF which will track a specific index like the S&P 500 or the Nifty 50 in India. Then you will have a sector ETF. These ETFs basically track a particular sector. So for example you may invest in a technology ETF if you are interested in getting an exposure to the technology sector. Or you may want to invest in a healthcare ETF if you want exposure to the healthcare sector. Then you have commodity ETFs, the most common ones being the gold ETF, which will track the price of gold. So instead of owning physical gold, you can buy these ETFs to gain the exposure to gold. Then you have bond ETFs, these invest in bonds and other debt securities. Then you may have international ETFs which will help you get exposure to other financial markets. So for example, if you are an Indian investor and you want to invest in the US, then you can go for an international ETF. Say you can invest in a NASDAQ ETF which will track the performance of a NASDAQ index. Now investing in ETFs is very straightforward. If you basically have a brokerage account, then you can just buy and sell ETFs like any other individual stock. You will though need to research and choose the ETF that aligns with your investment goal and risk tolerance. It's important to remember though that while ETFs offer numerous advantages but they also come with their own set of risks. So it is very crucial for you to do your own due diligence and understand where you want to invest your money. So it is very important that you understand the asset class in which you are looking to invest and how well the ETF is tracking the performance of that asset class. And you should also 
take into account your long term investment goals before you invest in ETFs. Now before we wrap up, it's crucial that I discuss the tax implications of investing in ETFs. I'm covering the tax implications with respect to India because I am based out of India and most of my viewers also come from India. For tax implications in your country, please use Google to find out what are the specific tax implications of investing in ETFs in your country. For the purpose of this video, I am limiting my discussion to tax implications of investing in ETFs in India. Now, it is very important to understand that taxes impact your overall returns. So when you are planning to invest through ETFs, you should be aware of the tax policies that affect investing in ETFs. The first tax that is applied in case of ETFs is the capital gains tax. So if you sell your ETF units at a profit within a year, you are subject to the short term capital gains tax. Now currently this tax is around 15% in India. So if you buy an ETF and sell the units within a year, you will be subject to a short term, a short -term capital gains tax of 15%. However, if you choose to hold on your ETF units for more than a year and then if you sell it and book some profits, then th this will come under the long term capital gains. So long term gains up to 1 lakh in a financial year is exempt from tax and beyond that the long term capital gain tax on equity ETFs is taxed at 10%. Apart from capital gains tax, you also have the dividend tax in India. Now with respect to dividends. Your dividends are added to your income, your overall income, and then it's taxed at the income tax slab rate. So, for example, if your highest income tax slab rate at which you are paying tax is 30%, then your dividend taxation will also happen at the same rate of 30%. Then you have the securities transaction tax. Now, in case of mutual funds, you do not need to pay the securities transaction tax. But because ETFs are traded on exchange just like stocks, so trading ETFs on exchange is subject to a securities transaction tax which is also known as the STT. The STT is currently 0.001% of the transaction value and this tax is levied on both the buyer and seller of the ETF. With this we come to the end of this video on ETF. If you would like to figure out which ETF you should invest in, then I would recommend you to subscribe to my channel and observe my coverage on different sectors where I discuss which sectors are good for investment. And if you do your own due diligence and feel that you should invest in those sectors, then you can use ETFs to gain exposure to those sectors. Thank you for watching this video.